Hi, I'm Taylor, and I am going to be talking about the African National Congress for a little bit today. Where do they originate? The African National Congress originated as a result of the Second Boer War. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce that. But this war was between the British Empire and states in South Africa during this time. In 1912, a group of leaders and communities, along with organizations, during this time met to form the South African National Congress. And the purpose of this Congress was to bring everyone together as one people and to defend their rights and freedoms under the colonial government rule. So, on January 8, 1912, that's exactly what they did. They formed the African National Congress. It was originally named the South African Native National Congress and was later changed to the African National Congress, or ANC for short. These three people had a very important role in the foundation of the Congress. Um, John Dube was a really major part of the, why the Congress came to be what it was. It was formed during this time when the country was experiencing many changes at a very high rate. As we learned during our multimedia assignment, we were shed light into the apartheid and how its political system in South Africa during this era was under white minority rule and how they really enforce types of racial discrimination against non-whites. The word apartheid directly translates to apartness in Africans, which is the language of the native people. So why was ANC important? Over the years, they had many troubles with the apartheid, and they clearly both wanted different things. The ANC was more concerned about the people of the states, while the apartheid was really concerned about more of the, of the government and the higher class individuals of the states in South Africa. The ANC struggle with the apartheid is still continuing today. Currently in South Africa, the ANC is ruling, and that was due to Mandela being elected as president, which whoever is speaking about that, I'm sure will enlighten me on him and his role in the, A in the ANC and the apartheid. The constant battle between passing bills and implementing policies, along with many protests and marches, was really what the ANC and the apartheid were concerned about. Um, many of these protests and marches ended in deaths. A really good thing that emerged from the ANC and their beliefs was um, organizations and community backings, the groups that had emerged from their relationship with, with the apartheid to help support the struggles of national liberation. About this topic that surprised me the most was probably um, the constant struggle between these two groups because the ANC was so um, popular and that it took them a really long time to basically overthrow the apartheid. Prior to this assignment, I really did not know much about the uh, government in South Africa, but this really shed a light onto the way that I perceived their country and the way that um, their people had such issues in trying to liberate themselves. Um, if I were to share anything about this topic with our people, I would probably tell them that the government isn't what always it's cracked up to be um and the apartheid rule was nothing but a nuisance to the people of south africa and if you guys are watching this i just wanted to say thank you and i really hope that your families and everyone are doing well and i hope that your semester ended on a good note